Hello, I'm Miguel Strickland, and this is my IL620 Professional Development Lesson Plan Presentation. So the most requested professional development from a survey that I gave out for this course uh, at the beginning of the year was peer coaching. So this is what we decided on in our school would be more beneficial for our teachers and staff and students. The lesson plan objective. Um, just so you all know, the lesson plan will serve as the agenda for the PD session, which will be held after school, but it'll, it'll serve as the agenda and the actual lesson plan. So student reading fluency is a concern in our school district. Our goal is to use the current teacher resources and focus on increasing the fluency of our students by sharing ideas. One thing that the teachers will be asked to do before this professional development session starts is they'll be asked to gather any kind of text or reading and other samples of how they are currently teaching reading fluency in their classrooms and bring it to the PD session with them, um, basically to share ideas and discuss. The icebreaker. The icebreaker is one that is commonly used at many professional development sessions that you know I've attended, and it's called, we'll call it the random facts game. So teachers will be asked to write a unique random fact about themselves on a sticky note. They will fold it and then put it in a basket. Then the facilitator will pull each fact and the participants will simply try to guess who the other person is from that fact that is pulled. So the learning activity handout. The learning activity handout will be something that is distributed fairly early in the PD session, uh, so that way the participants have an opportunity to kind of get their hands on it and then be able to read over and kind of look at it. Um, but the fluency handout will be used to discuss the importance of fluency and additional resources. Um, it'll have a couple of things on it, like um, things that successful readers are able to do. For instance, successful readers are able to orally read 100 to 160 words per minute by the end of elementary school. And also they can decode words accurately and automatically. And then successful teacher tips on teaching fluency. Um, there are a couple of examples of those. They'll be able to model fluent reading and remind students of its features. And they'll also be able to um, use uh, explicit small group instructions. And then as far as the resources, websites, and ideas, um, those are just extra things added on that people, if they do not know about it, will have an opportunity to click on or kind of research and then have it, you know, right at the, their fingertips for their disposal. So the group activity. The group activity, and this is the, the main part of, you know, this professional development session and the lesson plan, is teachers will be placed together in groups to discuss their current classroom procedures of fluency, instruction, and data collection. So the teachers will be placed in groups with three or four teachers uh, per multi-grade level group. Uh, three to four just kind of depends on the number we have participating. And then the discussions will last approximately six minutes and then the groups will rotate three times. So the group activity has continued. Each group meeting will have a presentation sheet to record ideas on. And then at the end of each rotation, a representative chosen by the group will read that sheet aloud. So the continuation of this activity that goes on into our classrooms, um, the plans will be developed for the grade levels to watch a peer teach fluency in their classrooms. And then the days will be chosen for observation and substitutes will be provided. That way the teachers who are participating uh, on this day or on this week don't have to stress about getting their own uh, substitutes for their classrooms. And then a debriefing session will happen afterwards with a coach and a facilitator. So the reading coach of the school or of the district, and then the facilitator of the professional development session, it, it, just in case they are not an employee in the school building, um, that they'll come in and then they'll have an opportunity to watch the coaching sessions and then debrief and give the uh, participants you know, ideas and just kind of give them some positive or negative feedback, just kind of different things they could change, adjust, uh, things of that nature. The evaluation survey. So of course the evaluation survey will be passed out at the end. It consists of 11 questions uh, to help improve the delivery and understanding of the PD session. Also, what I will do with the feedback survey is go in, 
and then just kind of tally things and then use it as feedback for, for things that we need to add to our next PD session uh, as far as for fluency or we need to take out things that you know is very well commonly known so things that we don't have to keep going over and repeating with the faculty. And so the reason, once again, we chose peer coaching at GSES, it was one of those things that our teachers voted on that they felt that they wanted to really focus on for professional development, but also we have a very large faculty. We have about six to seven teachers uh, per grade level, K through five in our building. Uh, we have a fairly balanced mix of experienced teachers, newly tenured teachers, and novice teachers. So, you know, we've got that We've got that large faculty, then we've got that mix. And so we want to be able to spread some of the experience and the new ideas around and kind of make sure everybody's on the same page with uh, fluency in their classrooms. And then there were no outside resources brought in during COVID and everything that we are doing and implementing is within the district guidelines. And then lastly, our teachers felt like they could benefit the most from Peer Coastal, like we said, get that experience and kind of share it around in the building. And then lastly, my reference page. Um, a lot of the things that are implemented in this lesson plan, we got from the Huntsville City Schools Literacy Pathway, and then of course, our book for this course, IL620, and then a Q&A session with one of our district curriculum specialists, and then a Q&A session with one of our district reading coaches. Thank you so much for tuning in to my presentation.